Hey folks, Mechanic Dave here with Affordable Automotive Repair and Sales. Uh, today, I'm working on a 98 F250 7.3 liter diesel. And uh, it came in for a massive leak. Oil leak, that is. Uh, it was coming down from this channel here, running down the bay, and then it, go, it leaks behind the uh, back of the engine, mainly towards the driver's side, rear with the transmission and all that. So... <clears throat> Remember, if you've got an oil leak, start up top because more than likely that's where the, the oil leak's going to come from. You know, it'll look like a rear main seal or something pretty catastrophic and it'll be scary and you'll, not, you'll be uh, wondering what the heck's going on. Anyways, I wanted to cover uh, the removal of the high pressure oil pump on this and I saw another video online that I, I did like, but I wanted to do it a different way to make it a little easier because when you pull this high pressure oil pump off right here, it's held on by two 10 millimeter bolts. <coughs> uh, the right hand side being driver's side is going to be longer than the one on the passenger side and they mount up uh, between the pump and the front cover, there's a gasket that typically leaks. And this one I got through Ford. Uh, let's see, part number, there's a part number here. This is the uh, legitimate Ford OEM from the dealership gasket. Um, there's the part number there. And while I did it, because the fuel bowl has to come out, I got the, uh, the little gaskets and stuff for that. Uh, there's the part number for that if need be. <coughs> and finally, I just went and bought some black Permatex uh, sealant because I'm going to put it over the gaskets just as an added, you know, security or whatever. So you'll have this fuel bowl up top. It mounts where the high-pressure oil H-pop reservoir, I guess is what they call it, where it would go right here via two long bolts that go through it here and here on the front of that cover that I have. Oh, where did I put that cover? Here it is. Sorry. On the front of this cover here. So <clears throat> that cover is going to go down there like so. But uh, I had a feeling that lower cover for the H-pop reservoir was leaking as well. So all I'm going to do is clean it with a brake clean, and I'm going to put a big, thick layer of uh, black Permatex on there. I'm going to seal it there, and I'm going to put the new gasket and seal it there where the pump goes. So the pump's there. There it is. Held on by, uh, like I said, two 10-millimeter bolts. So what you're going to need to do is undo all these lines that connect to this, just one at a time. And then there's two on this side. Uh, there's a little uh, fuel reservoir drain uh, line that you'll undo. Uh, prior to doing all that, just go ahead and crank this little yellow valve clockwise. It'll drain fuel out the back of the truck. Just put a good drain uh, pan underneath to collect all that. Once you pull this housing out of the way, <coughs> what I recommend doing, because let me just put it back so you can see this high pressure oil pump reservoir or a uh, front cover reservoir. Uh, so there's six bolts, 10 millimeter. <clears throat> there they are, they're long suckers. And then uh, pull them out. Then when you pull this big monstrosity, you'll have a bird's eye view of this gear here that is ran off the you know, the cam gear turns the high, uh, high pressure oil pump. So big important thing I want to stress here is, uh, see, I, I pulled this front cover off here too. That's held on by two eight millimeter bolts. One there, one there, pop the cover off. Then you're going to have an 18 millimeter bolt underneath. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm getting sick from the weather change. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm completely unorganized. So this is the bolt that holds that timing gear to the, uh, that gear there, the, to the high pressure oil pump. So 
when you go to pull this bolt out, you want to make sure that this washer, because the oil will cause it to stick to that gear down there. So when you pull this bolt out, the bolt could fall down in there, which I don't think you'll be screwed because you could probably fish it out with a magnet. You could tell there's not too much clearance for it to go any further. But when you have this front, this cover off the top, I mean, you're in here to seal an oil leak, so why not just pull the cover off anyway and then just put a nice little black bead around this after you've cleaned it up with brake clean or whatever. So that gear, you know, it'll move. There's no re-timing it or nothing. Uh, all it does is turn the high pressure oil pump. So just make sure the teeth are mated to one another. <clears throat> so when you go to pull this, this bolt out, you'll have a bird's eye view and you'll actually be able to, to hold the washer with your finger or whatever. You'll, you're not gonna freak out <laughs> like I was going to. Anyways, you clean all that out, uh, put your new gaskets on, uh, bolt it up, and uh, yeah, there you go. If there's any questions on the removal installation of this, let me know. I just wanted to show this other method of removing that top cover so you can see the whole gear and not worry about dropping the washer down in there. And at the same time, the areas that you wanna hit up, because I mean, this gasket right here is torn. Typically, I would get another one from Ford. Uh, customer's only in town for a little while. He was here long enough for me to get all the other gaskets. And I, th I was looking at the, uh, the long-term leak that it accumulated down here. Um, and I just wanted to cover both avenues that seal and then this top seal here. I think that's gonna take care of it. It wasn't leaking fuel or anything like that, so. <clears throat> All right, folks, if there's anything that you might need uh, question-wise, just hit me up, uh, subscribe, and hopefully you guys have a fantastic week. Take care, guys.